So it is July 3rd, and we're just outside of Indianapolis, Indiana. It's approximately 9 o'clock in the morning local time, and it rained last night, oh, say roughly about uh, 3 a.m. I went out to do a quick test of the car this morning. It was dry, so I rubbed some of the dust off of the car. I got readings as high as 0.03 millirems per hour. So this rain was actually probably pretty hot when it came down. Look at the sample here in a second. But it's starting to decay out. So it's been a good six hours since the rain and the dust is still hot. I wager if it uh, let's see here it's not wet it's just dust. I wager if I'd be able to get some of the water but a lot harder because of the, this with the water I can get most of the dust off the truck. All right hopefully we'll be able to test some active rain. So it's July 4th, approximately 9.30 in the morning. We're in uh, Indianapolis. And it's raining outside. Here's our vehicle. Outside the hotel room. It's a rainy sort of day. So it's rained off and on most of the night. So just went outside to take a reading. Looks like we're hitting 10 times background. Now what's interesting is, is on uh, yesterday, July 3rd, it was uh, <clears throat> it rained around 3 a.m. in the morning pretty strongly. And then around 9 a.m. I went out to see if I could get a sample. And the truck was already dry, so I just dry wiped some dust off the truck and uh, took a sample. And the dry dust off the hood of the truck was four times background. So I wager last night was uh, extremely hot. I'll have to back calculate to see what the, uh, what the uh, potential reading was, assuming a short half-life.